Hey, hey guys, Mario here, and welcome on back to a brand new house tutorial. So today, I'll be showing you the ultimate starter house for your survival world, which comes with a built-in crop farm and cow pen, and not to mention a balcony with some fantastic views. The house is essentially an oak and spruce hut built on top of a stone brick base, and the small stone extension to the base, along with the overlapping A-frame roofs, heavily contribute to, you know, the overall depth and aesthetic of the build, which are also tied together with all these little details, such as drooping leaves, lanterns, and flower pots. So these will be all the blocks you'll be needing for this house along with the specific amounts as you can see here all very survival friendly materials um, these petrified oak slabs should be just regular oak slabs a lot of these are just detail blocks like the flowers for example can easily be swapped out and um, some of the amounts might be a little bit extra um, for some of the interior stuff. So just scrolling through here feel free to pause the video at any point to just drop these numbers down. Um, definitely feel free to grab some extra because that is always a good idea to have some okay guys so kicking things right off here we're going to be laying down our main stone foundation using stone bricks so this is your main layout it's a little bit complicated at first glance but i will definitely walk you all through it so we have this main body here which is just a three by three square uh or rather five by five with three uh blocks in between so these front two pillars here, you're going to be raising up to a total of four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like so. Um, and then everywhere else you see stone brick on the ground here, you're going to be raising them up by three. Um, so here to complete this little square, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. These two here, uh, just leave a one block gap here. This is going to, I, I should have made this wool really, but this is eventually going to be cobble. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you can see we have this additional four by four square here, which is going to end up being our little walkout balcony supported by these awesome stone brick pillars. Next, since we already know, you know, all the block spacings now, there's three on each of these sides, we can essentially get rid of these wools here as they're going to be made into farmland and we don't want this gross ugly wool um so you want to go ahead and do is make a little ring of stone brick extending all the way around here uh maybe cut off the corner there after that going up on the third block of the pillars we're going to be doing upside down stairs on either side like that and then tying it off with another strip of stone brick and we're only going to do that on these two sides here like so boom and that makes a nice fancy little archway next we're going to work on this side extension to the farm area here uh so this back wall you're going to raise by uh to a total of two blocks so one two one two like so um and then these two sides are going to be an additional block going up to three that way we have a nice sloping side that we can eventually add a wooden roof to um, so that's going to be made out of cobble. We're also going to fill this up to three blocks as well. It looks a little more seamless now. And then going into here, uh, we're going to indent one uh, and fill this in up to three blocks like so. And we're going to also do the same thing with upside down stairs like so. But instead of tying it off with a strip of stone brick, we're simply going to get a spruce trap door. And like we did earlier, we can now get rid of our wool, um, as well as the wool here, since you now know the spacings. Now you may notice we have a odd space here. We're going to be bringing this cobble wall out by one block and just filling it up to three blocks tall like so. So it sits nice and flush with these two back pillars. Next thing, we're going to build similar arches here on the outer balcony. Uh, just at the very top of the block here but with upside down stairs just going into each other like so and to top those off we're going to be doing stone bricks on top of the upside down stairs and then a uh, oak log sitting on top of the pillars so in these corners we have oak logs 
um, and we'll do one in this corner as well now to finish up this groundwork going on the inside we're gonna add kind of like a fake arch it's not actually connected up and then we'll top that off with some cobble running all the way down to this cobble block here so starting with this side we're gonna build upon the actual houses framework so with this pillar we're gonna do a upside down stair here leave a two block gap like so and then we're gonna have oak logs going up six so one two three four five six and then we're gonna mirror that on the opposite side here instead of the spruce stair there we're gonna have a front facing oak log and then another six blocks so you meet that height and then in this corner here we're also going to use a spruce stair and then build this up to the same height like so now for the front of the building we're going to be using front facing oak logs like so on the very top blocks of these pillars and then we're simply going to bring these up by three one two three like so um, and then on the opposite side here we're going to do a oak log like this and then tie everything together with sideways oak logs like so and then this will also go up one two three one two three so it matches the front we don't actually need a log there kind of deceiving um, we'll just leave that blank for now and now to finish the framework we're going to come out with an additional upside down stair here and this will go up three as well matching its neighbor there and then on this side just temporarily have some blocks there run this up by three like so and then that should be your framework for the top we're just going to make these some front facing logs so it matches the rest of the build here at the front now starting with the front of the house here we're going to begin with this large bay window and you just want to run a spruce trap door oak slab okay i have the petrified version but use use your normal version that you have in survival um and then you'll have oak stairs on top of these trap doors like so pillar of glass running three blocks like so um and then behind these oak stairs you're gonna have two pillars of glass to match it that kind of just gives it like a very nice inset effect especially with the connected off define textures definitely play with off define and then to make it a little more flush with the framework we're going to be doing two oak slabs on either side of this main glass pillar um and then we'll actually just put in our basic a-frame just to work out where the walls would go uh so with the roof here we're going to be doing a spruce trim you guys already know what's up we're going to be having um your traditional a-frame roof just with stairs and upside down stairs going up and they should meet at this middle glass pillar block have an upside down stair like that and a stair on top so just come out one block from the wall like so and that should be your roof trim um, and then the rest it's really just one block here you're gonna fill with oak stairs uh, have an oak slab here but you're not gonna inset the roof anymore um, for the rest of the roof anywhere it's exposed I know it's a little hard to tell here but like for example this will be exposed to the outside so you're gonna fill this in with um, stripped logs like so um, and then you can get rid of any that are on the inside just to make room for the interior uh, so for example this will not be exposed but this will because it's peeking out the corner uh, so just have vertical strip logs like that get rid of the inside ones um, again I will be showing you guys some uh, basic interior ideas not a super formal interior uh for this video but you should have something like that and then we have this empty strip here you're just gonna fill that in with stripped logs as well and that just ties in very nicely moving along to the left side of the house we will actually fill in this extension area um, and the roof is very simple deceptively simple um, this is just gonna come out one block and you're pretty much just gonna alternate uh, randomize your spruce and oak slabs like so just tie it together like so boom there you go you don't actually need to bring this up to a third block and yeah that works so that's what it should look like it looks a little bit too uniform almost so what you can do is actually replace some of these slabs with trapdoors. um 
add trap doors underneath some of the slabs just break it break it up um have some trap doors resting on some of these make it look a little more uh run down right so yeah that that adds a lot of difference there could do campfires as well but i think that's a little too harsh of a transition um and then some parts are a little too randomized so have a maybe a bigger patch of spruce there and now to connect these uh little spruce supports we're just going to be doing a slab okay we can't actually put a trap door there we're going to do a slab trap door slab trap door and it's not going to be symmetrical um it's just going to be the same running across there and then for the wall here we're going to be doing a spruce stair and then some planks this way it really frames up this window uh with the glass pane um, and then at the top here, we're going to be doing spruce or uh, oak rather oak planks and an oak stair to frame up that window once again. So it's a very subtle kind of gradient. It starts off darker and then it moves lighter. Um, that way it's not completely random. And then to add some depth, we're going to be doing upside down spruce stairs like that kind of looks like inset planks. Um, and then we'll do a one by two window like so, and then fill in this last layer with stripped logs um, and then once we get the roof in we will actually need another layer of spruce logs so you can just go ahead and preemptively add that if you will for this left wall it's pretty much going to be the same thing spruce stair here a plank here um, and then we'll have a one by two window instead like so um, and then just fill this in with planks have a, another plank there and then frame it up with another upside down oak stair uh, very nice so that is your left wall of the house without the roof yet um, and then before we get onto the roof we will just work on this side of the wall and then we'll get this bigger part of the roof going it's pretty much just spruce planks filled all the way up um, up until this log here right before the very top log we're gonna stop and it's just all spruce planks like that and now since we have this random air gap in the wall we can bring down these strip logs there so it looks a little more uniform and it feels like it's it's a little more connected uh, so you can do the same in this corner as well very very nice but getting back to this we're gonna mirror the strip logs on this side so have two coming out by one here and then we're gonna have another layer on top of that and then for some simple detail pieces here, the reason this is inset is obviously to add depth. So we need to add some supports, you know, it just seems like these two are very distant from each other. Uh, so connect them up with some slabs there, get a trap door. Um, and then where this roof trim is, you're gonna add another supporting log running across horizontally. Um, and then at the very top here, you're gonna add slab trap door to support this stripped section. To add a little more support to this uh, middle log, we're just gonna be doing some spruce trap doors, kind of uh, diagonal to each other, I suppose. And that just helps to blend the textures a little better. The roof looks complicated, you know, overall, um, but it's a bunch of tiny A-frames just combined together uh, to make a nice uniform product here. So we're gonna be bringing this out once again uh, with the spruce trim and then just get upside down. Now that we have an even number, we don't actually need slabs at the top. This will just naturally form a peak like so. In the middle is where it gets kind of complicated. So we're gonna skip that for now, do the trim on the other side, just exactly the same like so. It should meet in the middle here. Skadoosh, and there we have it. And now for the rest of the trim, uh, get rid of these two stairs here. They're kind of just placeholders. We're going to be doing slabs um, every other block like so. And then have a slab at the upper part of the block in between. So you'll end up, oops, you'll end up with something like this. Just very miniature peaks, almost like waves. Um, and then in between these, like everywhere you can, you're going to be putting a trap door very very nice and you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side so get rid of these every other block um you're, you're gonna go up one like that we'll just do it like this for now get rid of the bottom section on all of these and then have trap doors boom 
um you know when i was originally designing this i had it just a flat roof peak running up i'm like that's a little bit bland and boring so what if i could fit like the tiniest little dormer window up here or roof peak as i like to call them um so that's exactly what i did here um, so you're gonna fill in oak stairs just one block on either side and then you're gonna do a full block of spruce next to these and then we're actually gonna be using logs to kind of frame up this window and then have a glass pane right here just the tiniest little window that's almost being covered up by this but it's barely exposed um, and then on top of these we're gonna be doing spruce slabs and then a full block in the middle like this to kind of ease out the transition we'll be doing uh, trap doors there's so many trap doors on this roof but it really it really smooths things out i feel like trap these trap doors are like nutella man <laughs> it, it just it it ties the flavor of the build together if you will i don't know i'm being weird on the other side i didn't really want to copy the same thing so this side is just going to be plain um but we have enough details on this side anyways there's just so much uh, there's so much shape to this house, even though it's very your very basic uh, starter house materials. There's a lot of shape, a lot of depth, so I thought I didn't really need to repeat it here on the other side. Um, what we are going to do, though, is break up this um, oak with a strip of spruce running down like that. Alrighty, so for this final wall here, very similar to the front, we're going to be framing up a window with oak stairs. Bring this up one, two, three, four with stripped oak on either side. Um, get your glass panes here, get a one by two window, and then an upside down stair at the very top. This way the roof has like a part of the wall to almost rest on. I found the easiest way to finish up the roof is just to mirror the front first and then add all these fancy portions that jut into it. Um, so starting off here, we're just going to come out by one block, uh, pretty much exactly the same as the front here. Come out by one, go upside down, front facing, you know the drill at this point, and then it should meet here right above this window. Front facing stair there. And you're just gonna fill in the rest here with oak stairs and then an oak slabs for this very middle block here um, up until this point right underneath the trim um, and then you can probably already see some conflicting blocks here that's why um, we need a more trend a more smooth transitional part there that we'll work on in a second uh, but just have these running inwards like so just meeting this log here and then now we can actually see where we need to fill in uh, with our strip log. Pretty much the same as the front. So right here, this will be exposed. Bring this all the way up. This is very, very hard, but you can actually sneak. Yeah, you can sneak a block underneath there to get it. Yeah, th this one's too hard. We're just going to do that. Um, and then going in here, just break some of this. Boom like so and you may notice i had to break one of these trap doors underneath to make room for uh this oak slab so you can replace the blocks that you broke um and we're missing a trap door here very good we're all good on the trim there and now you can see we have this wall flush with the framework and everything is fine and dandy except for these walls here so we're gonna work on that now uh starting with the right side wall here um, it's actually a very simple process to combine uh, this roof. You're going to curve the spruce trim around here with your stairs. So have this nice corner bit. You're going to pretend that the spruce trim kind of just juts out of the wall here. So starting at this log block, you'll have a stair there. And then pretty much do what you usually do. Have upside downs going up like this. A very small trim, albeit, but um, it will meet here at the middle have a stair on top of there and then you have to get rid of these two um have oak stairs like this and then you may see that it's not exactly connecting up that just means you need to get rid of this middle oak stair and it'll form a nice uh corner stair like that uh going inside here oh, we can squeeze in a oak stair okay we need to break this oak stair um and then this will automatically go into the roof which is good and then have slabs running across like so replace this and we're all fine and dandy look at that very very smooth transition into that 
um and you may notice we have a gap here now so just fill that in with oak slabs boom um so with the balcony anytime you see uh, logs that we have set up here you're going to have front facing oak logs that come out um so mainly these two and then also this one here underneath all of these logs we'll have fences to kind of act as supports um this way it's not like they just come out of nowhere right we have a little bit of something there to support them and then to connect them up to each other i uh, will have one trap door here connecting these two bits and then these two will have a slab and a trap door and then a slab and a trap door doesn't really matter what order you do it in it's not it's never going to be symmetrical because it's an even number but uh this is the best way to go about it really so there you have it looks pretty good and then with your fences um i always like to incorporate some fence gates into my uh into my guardrails just to add that you know extra bit of detail with these corner pieces you have to do fences because this this doesn't work <laughs> you, all the connection points need to be fences don't go overboard with fence gates but a few here and there definitely makes for some nice detail um again it won't be symmetrical but um i tend to not like the double fence gate and it it doesn't actually look bad we'll, we'll keep it like that this is the second time recording this so i already went ahead and filled in the middle your middle here should be empty uh but i went ahead and filled it in with some stone brick slabs uh and got rid of the full block here replaced it with a stone brick slab so you should have a pretty flush flooring here for your balcony but to finish up the wall here I'm going to be putting down a door. This is actually the only door in the entire build, surprisingly. Uh, you know, I typically have tons of these. I have Not tons, but I have at least a couple of doors. This is the only door here because our main entrance is going to be a ladder. Uh, but we'll have stripped oak going up like that. Have a upside down stair framing up the door. Um, and then really this roof is very simple because it's an exact mirror of the one you just made on the other side so once again pretend that the trim kind of just juts out from the wall um right off this corner log um and then the middle of your trim should be this stripped log boom top it off with a stair um and then we will get these nice corner stairs like that And then this will have to curve this way. Come on. What's wrong? There we go. So it curves into the house. And then we have slabs running across. And it almost looks like this is just like completely running through to the other side. And it's just one unit of a roof, I guess. Even though it's two separate parts, um, it looks very interconnected. But yeah, check that out. Super, super awesome. So now, let's get to detailing, shall we? Um, now, some of these details are super, super simple as well. So, for example, all the open-faced logs here are all going to have stone buttons on it. That is something I typically always like to do whenever I have open-faced logs. It just kind of gets rid of some of the, the harshness, I guess, of the open texture, but I still really like it. Um, and then these front pillars, to make them look just a tad bit more supported, we'll have some walls there connected up with fences. And then another thing I like to do is just to add a bit of um, rubble, I guess, near the, near the ground. So, you know, your cobblestone slabs, maybe some stone brick slabs, and then some cobble stairs as well so for example this is a harsh transition so you can kind of just slap some some rubble down here especially here with the extension part it just looks way too you know boxy and square right so to fix that you're just gonna have some bits of slab you know um, and stair coming out on each side you can even go ahead and replace some of the full blocks with um, a stair there one more thing i always i always save the chimney for last so um, we're gonna go ahead and add that but basically this double stone brick part is the chimney um, we don't actually need to break much here so just have an additional additional stone brick block come out here 
put a stair on that kind of just build up you know a, a nice base for the chimney i guess um and then right here this corner block this is the chimney this will run all the way up here we don't want it too tall because it, it is a it's a pretty tall house rather but go ahead and get your campfire and your trap doors uh probably like this block is good maybe one lower we'll do it right here and boom that looks pretty good for a chimney if you ask me um, and now, of course, we have this big open space here, um, which is mostly going to be for farmland. But you're just going to have a like a center water block there. You can probably cover it with a uh, trap door or a lily pad or something. But I'm just going to leave it open. Um, and then we're going to till like all the land we can, uh, give or take a couple blocks here. Like um, in this corner, we're going to be doing just a bit of storage here with some barrels oops um so this way you can store some of the stuff for your crops i want a front facing barrel if that's possible thanks yeah so just some storage there oops cd place yeah so you can plant whatever crops you want i'm just gonna be doing wheat here and then to give these guys some more light when it's nighttime even we can grab our lanterns have something something there and then we'll have a little bit of rubble on the inside so it's not too you know square and whatnot uh you can go ahead and grab a ladder up to the main portion of the house just resting on this wall here um and then the rest of it will be seeds we can even replace this with a little bit of cobble like so um and then you have a nice farm area right before you walk into your main body of the house which of course we need a flooring for uh so the floor will be at this level right here slabs once again just provides a uh, bit of an extra more airy feel on the bottom which is always nice so go ahead and do this leave a space for your head to poke in and then we can just fill that in uh whoops i covered it up actually boom there you go final ladder block and that is the entrance to your home that doubles as a nice little crop farm adds a nice bit of color as well all right so for some more nitty-gritty details here uh this side especially it's a little plain and we have so much space um to add some detail there so we'll have um typically i usually have a lantern or a flower pot uh switch up between whether we need lighting more or you know greenery more so and these corners we can hang some lights as well oh look at that look at that um and i think that's a little bit overboard but we'll have a couple lanterns here on the guardrails like this i think that's fine um and then we'll hang one in the corner there in these corners as well um so i think we don't actually need a lantern there instead we'll do some leaves in a little bit we can do not a flower box it'd be a little too obtrusive but we can do a little like trap door balcony almost um which will come out and have a flower pot like so looks pretty good a very subtle detail we'll hang a additional lantern there and that's pretty much it for the flower pots and whatnot we can probably do one more just like there or something uh switch it up let's do let's do this one my two favorite flowers i always alternate between these two and my final thing you know for rustic style medieval builds like this you know i cannot forget the leaves we always need some uh runny leaves and whatnot to add that extra bit of uh greenery so again uh it's very easy to overdo it with these leaves i find myself doing that a lot too but just have some have some leaves in these corner blocks and whatnot uh maybe running down this roof or running up this wall oh look at that yeah that adds a lot it adds a lot of greenery a lot of life to the build 
Oh um, man, I almost forgot. We are gonna have a cow pen out back because um, this is the ultimate survival starter house anyway. So we do want a way to, you know, utilize our wheat for a better food source. So the fence here and closing them is actually very, very simple. It's pretty much just some logs placed around here. Kind of make a circular shape. Um, as big as you want really but not too obtrusive um, and then we're gonna have oak logs here every so often just acting as a um, enclosure I guess and then on top of all these we'll do uh, slabs excuse me guys okay yeah I really I really need to find a way to deal with them I believe there's a way to make them not spawn but there you go um, have some fences fence gates a gate like this this will connect up to the wall um, and then connect these however you like with fences. Um, let's go a little more wavy. Uh, with this style, you know, tend to avoid straight lines here. Like this doesn't look as good as this, even though it's kind of saving a little space. This is still plenty of space for your cows to roam about. And to make it just look a little more authentic, we're going to have some... Uh, path blocks scattered in here obviously in survival you'd use your shovel uh, but here we have our creative path blocks got some coarse dirt mixed in there as well if you want to get fancy with it you can add some gravel too or podzle even but I know podzle is a little more late game you're gonna have a tiny bit of gravel um, kind of blends in with the house a little better but you don't need too much at all um, you can even have some more uh, cobble um like some, some cobble rubble from the house there get a couple of friends in here get some babies and there we have it um a wonderful small um not the most efficient farm in the world it's your it's your starter house right nothing fancy nothing automatic uh but some nice cows just enclosed in here and it looks great this looks so much better than just like a hole in the ground where you breed your cows and slaughter them right so this looks just super fantastic they got air to breathe food to eat Alrighty, alrighty, guys so that is going to conclude our ultimate survival house tutorial check this out so i've gone ahead and put in an interior you can kind of see a bit of it so let's take a dive up in the interior shall we so coming up the ladder this is going to be your main entrance um it's a very cozy it's a very tight space I was taking a look around here. Um, you have your main like kitchen setup. This blast furnace is actually connected up to the chimney, so it makes sense. The smoke's going out there. Uh, we have kind of like some wood stoves here for your general smelting needs. Uh, your main storage in this corner here. Lots of barrels and chests. Uh, a little bit of armor. You can hang some uh, items up on any of these walls, really. Anvil here just for, I don't know, extra utilities if you want to drop something else here. Instead of an anvil, it's all good. Here we have a very tight and cozy, like, breakfast nook. Um, you can, like, barely fit in here. Uh, once you get into the chair, you can stand up. But uh, getting out, you do have to shift out. So, yeah, very cozy indeed. Stepping out here onto the balcony, you have a little bit more space to work with, breathe in the fresh air. Uh, but I just love how compact and cozy this whole place is. It definitely reminds me of like a tree house, if you will. I did a lot here with the oak stairs to kind of smooth out um, all of these rugged edges from the stripped logs there. Um, and then coming up here, building onto that tree house vibe, we have a nice loft area. Um, for you to you know sleep this is your primary bedroom a little bit of hidden storage in this nook up here some reading material um, and that's pretty much it it's a very basic loft and sleeping area but very very cozy and you have a view of your downstairs but you can't actually fall off unless you shift out of here but it just looks great you have a little support here doesn't block any of the views and this this window is just great you have so much uh versatility with this window it's awesome but yeah guys that is going to do it for this minecraft tutorial if you did enjoy the video please make sure to let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay notified with all future uploads that's gonna do it for me today i really hope you guys enjoyed once again uh, you know, let me know what other styles of houses you want to see, what types of tutorials, and that is going to be it. So, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.
goodbye.